Good evening. The big story at this IMS Dhoni, former India skipper and two-time World Cup winner, has announced his retirement. That too on August 15th, Independence Day, in an Instagram post. Thanks a lot for your love and support throughout. Consider me retired now, reads this formal announcement. Uh, MS Dhoni, who will lead the Chennai Super Kings into battle in the upcoming IPL in the UAE, posted a video on Instagram announcing his decision. And Rika Roy joins us with all the details to take this further. Rika, one of India's biggest cricketing heroes, uh, Dhoni has brought the curtain down in a glittering international cricket career. His decision to retire from limited overs brings to an end a 15-year golden run. Was this... A surprise to fans and cricket lovers? Very good evening uh, to you, Sarah. Very good evening to our lovely viewers. Well, it is India's 74th Independence Day and MS Dhoni has decided to declare his freedom from cricket, at least from international cricket, uh, uh, in that through that Instagram post that he sent out this evening saying that as of 7.29 this evening, he is going to, he's not going to be appearing in international cricket anymore. In uh, a true MS Dhoni style, he signs off. This is not the first time he has done it. In fact, in 2014, when he decided to hang up his boots, from uh, test cricket, he did it in a similar manner. Uh, and, and this was perhaps coming for a little while uh, ever since, uh, you know, India's uh, exit from the World Cup in uh, 2019 and he got run out in that World Cup uh, semi-final uh, against New Zealand. Uh, fans have been speculating, everyone's been speculating whether time's up for MS Dhoni. He kept, kept us waiting for over a year now. Yesterday, he joined the Chennai Super Kings camp. He, he reunited with his buddies of the Chennai Super Kings and then came the big decision to talk about MS Dhoni's legacy and a lot more this evening. I'm joined by former Indian cricketer Atul Vasan. I'll also be joined on the show by uh, BCCI's ex-manager uh, uh, game development uh, Ratna Kashetti. We will have on the show senior journalists Vijay Lokpalli and Nikhil Nas as well. Atul, to you first. Did decision, uh, this decision by MS Dhoni at this moment come as a shock or a surprise to you? Not really. I was expecting this and uh, I think once uh, uh, the World Cup in Australia was out of the window, I think it was uh, on the cards because he can't seem to be uh, keeping, him shape, keeping himself in shape for the next uh, uh, season at all. And I don't think so that he had aspirations to keep on uh, playing uh, uh, f formal, uh, I mean, uh, competitive cricket because since... England, uh, the World Cup, he has not played for even for his state. So I think he was just actually saving himself for the last dance in Australia. And once that was taken away from him, this was on the cards. And I'm sure he's going to play uh, uh, franchise cricket for a couple of years. And, and Chennai Super King is Dhoni and Dhoni is Chennai Super King. So I think whatever is, is, uh, his uh, uh, role in cricket is uh, on the field will be with Chennai Super King so far. But uh, what a career. I think I must doff my hat. On somebody, uh, I will not actually go and chase the cliches on what he has done. We all know that. I will not burden the debate by saying what he has achieved. But you know what he brought to the table was something special because he was the quintessential son of the soil. I mean, we say Kapil Dev was one. But here was a guy from a small town, small city, and he gave aspirations to and wings to a lot of players who are uh, staying in villages and districts where there was no chance maybe about 20 years for them ago for, for them to play for India. But Dhoni showed them the way. And I think he is one of those, those uh, X factor, X ingredient, which makes a, a dish or a masterpiece or a or a potpourri mm -hmm. much better than than what it is. And and you know because since 1932, since India has been playing, I think what he right. brought to the table, where he has taken Indian cricket, not just with the his performances and, and his uh, captaincy, but just adding to the picture by somebody who was actually who was not bitten by delusions of grandeur. I mean, I've seen a lot of cricketers who are very talented, but they have got a certain kind of overestimation about themselves. But here was a guy who was actually down to the ground and not many. He's, he's an enigma because he'll just go and, and, and uh, you know, hide for six months and he, he uh, hates mm -hmm. the publicity and all that because he's somebody different. And I've not seen any cricketer or any kind of a celebrity or somebody who's an icon uh, handle himself in such a balanced way as, as Dhoni has. 
and Dhoni signs off in his inimitable style. Let me go over to Professor Ratnaka Shetty. Uh, Professor Shetty has been BCCI's general manager of G game development and he has been one of those uh, gentlemen who's seen MS Dhoni very closely, perhaps also one of those who was in the Indian dressing room when India uh, won that uh, historic 2011 World Cup. Professor Shetty, thank you very much for joining uh, me on the show this evening. Please do tell us your best memories of MS Dhoni. And I'm sure you some of them will be from that World Cup final in, in 2011. Well, I think uh, you know uh, his announcement of retirement, as you rightly said, was coming. Uh, it was uh, The speculation is over now. One of the finest uh, India captains uh, that that we have seen, and as uh, a, a simple, down to earth, and straightforward business as a captain, and uh, whether it was uh, in the selection committee meetings or whether he was uh, in leading the Indian team, I think he is. He was. He was uh, very. He kept it very plain and simple in his approach. And uh, and I think uh, you know it was a great pleasure to see a player coming from ja from Ranchi to go on to become the captain of the Indian team mm -hmm. and and do so well in his career. And it was all of us were surprised in 2014 when we got uh, when he called up the board and said that he was an announcing his retirement from Test cricket and. Uh, Focusing only on uh, the shorter yes. version of the cricket, but uh, this time, I think uh, all everybody expected that Dhoni would would announce his retirement at the end of the 2019 World Cup and uh, maybe 2020 uh, T20. That Professor Shetty, I would like to know from you about. Professor Shetty, I would like to know from you about those moments after the 2011 World Cup, after the World Cup win. How did MS Dhoni um, re react, respond? Because on the field, we saw him as a quiet person and almost, uh, you know, crediting everyone else for the win, but not giving himself any credit. I think that was the speciality, if you see right from uh, the 2007 World Cup uh, onwards whenever there was a major uh, victory that was either in bilateral or icc tournaments i think dhoni uh, went quietly on the sidelines and gave the trophy to the younger players and gave them that moment of importance in the team photographs and uh, made them happy that they were a part of a legacy that uh, that he was uh, leading and uh, the same thing was there for 2011 World Cup also. I think even in the dressing room, he was once once the presentation was over and he was in the dressing room. I think uh, Dhoni was his usual self, allowing others to take over and enjoy that moment of uh, uh, winning the, the World Cup, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. India won after such a long time. And that was his trademark, I think, uh, you know, that uh, he always uh, involved the players. Uh, in this, in in the uh, victory that was achieved. Mm -hmm. uh, let me also listen into Anurag Thakur, the former president of uh, uh, BCCI, what he has to say about uh, that retirement announcement of MS Dhoni that came in this evening. महेंद्र सिंह धोनी क्या जैसे उनके फैंस उनको माही कहते हैं ना केवल एक शानदार बैट्समैन विकेटकीपर बल्कि एक बहुत सफल कप्तान भी रहे और एक बहुत लंबी पारी उन्होंने खेली विकेटकीपर बैट्समैन और कप्तान के नाते भी भारत के लिए बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धियां हैं दो दो विश्व कप जिताने की भारतीय टीम को टेस्ट में नंबर वन बनाने की आईपीएल में शानदार परफॉर्मेंस है चैंपियनशिप जिताने की तो निश्चित तौर पर महेंद्र सिंह धोनी के फैंस को एक तरह से दुख भी होगा लेकिन मुझे लगता है युवाओं को आगे आने का अवसर मिलेगा क्योंकि बहुत लंबे समय तक महेंद्र सिंह धोनी खेले हैं उनके स्थान को भर पाना इतना आसान नहीं होगा लेकिन भारतीय क्रिकेट के लिए बहुत ज्यादा सेवाएं उन्होंने दी है तो समस्त भारतीय क्रिकेट फैंस की ओर से भी उनको बहुत बहुत आभार और धन्यवाद और भविष्य में जो भी वो करना चाहें उसके लिए बहुत सारी शुभकामनाएं
Well, we also have Mr. Vijay Lokpalli, a senior journalist with us. Uh, Mr. Lokpalli, when we talk about MS Dhoni, what is that moment or what is that time in his career that stands out for you? I think everyone talks about the World Cup moment, yes. But for me, the 148 at Vishakhapatnam, because if he had not made those runs that day, his career would have been over because he was under tremendous pressure. Uh, he was given a task to perform and he did it so admirably and all his career, if you see, he has been a very different cricketer. He, we all know he came from a small town, but his cricket was big. He, his cricket was supposed to be played on a big canvas that was international stage and he, he had his own brand of cricket. I mean, he, whether he was a batsman, whether he was a, a captain and then as he grew into a leader, I thought uh, he gave Indian cricket a great identity uh, to to the way he led and and the fact that he never played he was a fearless captain he he didn't he didn't, he never feared failure uh, it's it's a rare quality I've seen many great players who would play for themselves but not Dhoni and he always uh, in, in, insisted he insisted that uh, he had to back the youngsters from all these small towns because he knew how difficult it was. He had to struggle in his own career to make a name for himself, even in his zone. I remember once he was asking me, Mera number kab So when it, the, when the number came, uh, he, he, he pushed everyone aside and uh, he, he emerged the number one uh, player in Indian cricket. Um, let me go back to Atul Vasan. Atul, um, we also have Nikhil Naz, a senior journalist, on the show with us. Nikhil, you and I both are fond of quirky statistics. And one thing that I managed to pull out this evening was that MS Dhoni was run out in his first and last international game for India. Would you say, you know, that moment in, uh, in that match against New Zealand when he got out, he got run out, that was the moment pretty much he would have decided that uh, he would hang up his boots despite being one of the best runners in the game? Absolutely right, Rika. I'd have to say that, you know, while we were talking in all these months of speculation, it's been, you know, more than a year since that run out against New Zealand happened. And every time I spoke to anywhere, anyone who has been close to Mahi, I think most people agreed that in his mind, he had played his last game for India in that uh, particular match. I mean, he, he knew that this probably was his last tournament for India, where, however far India can go. Of course, he got run out and then India fell short in the semi-final. But I don't think he had any more ambitions to be playing for India after that. Just the fact that you've got to understand Dhoni. Why is it that he didn't announce his retirement? You just have to go back to how he's played his cricket. He's never made a big deal about anything. I mean, just go back to how he announced his test retirement in Melbourne. It, I mean, he came for the press conference after the test match was over, finished the entire press conference, then went back and half an hour later, you get the press release that he's retired from test cricket because he didn't want to make a big deal of it. He didn't want to answer any question. I guess that's the kind of, you know, thought process that he had even while deciding on his, uh, you know, sh limited over format uh, cricket as well. And I think he decided that was his last match. Interestingly, you talk about, you know, the first match he was run out. I happened to cover that tour in Bangladesh 2004 and it was one of the most unobtrusive sort of a debut for any cricketer. I, I can't remember MS Dhoni's performance in those three one-day matches while I was covering that tour. I of course remember the debut, but it, was, it wasn't it was something to write home about. It was only after that 100 he got against Pakistan that, you know, people went gaga and then as a journalist, I travelled to, uh, you know, his hometown. The next mm -hmm. game was in Jamshirpur after that 100 in Vaisak. So that's how he started, but look how he's finished, probably going down in history as one of the finest players that India has produced. Uh, right. Uh, let me take one question to uh, Professor Shetty. Um, uh, talking about Dhoni in franchise cricket, three IPL titles there, and we've heard uh, from the COO of Chennai Super Kings, uh, Kashi Vishwanathan, some a few days back, that they also expect him to continue till 2022. Do you think now that he leaves international cricket and he won't be playing cricket, uh, you know, um, around the year, it'll be easy for him? to keep up that momentum, to be able to play franchise cricket for uh, uh, three months a year? Uh, I think uh, so. Perhaps I two think, months a year? I think, uh, you know, he is one person, uh, if he ta he'll take a call, which only he can, uh, if he's sure that he's going to uh, deliver. And as far as 
Dhoni and Chennai Super Kings are concerned, it's like they are made for each other. I think uh, the way he has led Chennai Super Kings, particularly the foreign players, and uh, the way uh, he he carried himself on and off the field as far as the franchise uh, is concerned. I think uh, even in that difficult period, I think people went after him uh, in 2013. Uh, uh, in the, in the IPL uh, match fixing saga, but he never bothered. He kept cool, he kept cool, and he just, uh, his job was to play uh, for the IPL team, IPL franchise. And uh, he, he will definitely uh, play if he feels that he, is, uh, he will be able to deliver uh, for another year. This year, definitely, is going to lead. But uh, mm -hmm. knowing Dhoni, the day the day he thinks he's not uh, there enough, I think he will not uh, continue in any form of cricket in that. I have just two things to add here. And one is his Wait, clarity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, in the CB... was the name he was, he was known by. Sorry, yeah. sorry, please go on. Please go on. Uh, as, as, as the captain cool and uh, his clarity of thoughts in the first time I, I we were in uh, Australia for the CB series final and uh, you know he was very clear of who is going to play in the final 11 for that match because according to him uh, and 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 all of us know that uh, some of the seniors did not like uh, being sidelined uh, with respect to in 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 by selecting some younger players in that, and they delivered. I think he had a, he had a lot of clarity of what, what he was doing, how he wanted to go about his job as captain, and that is that is extremely important. I have to ask two quick questions, one to Mr. Lokpalli and one to Nikhil before we go. Mr. Lokpalli, to you first, even after he gave up captaincy, MS Dhoni was still leading India from behind these stumps and perhaps uh, the, the current captain of Indian cricket team, Virat Kohli, used to go to him more often than not. Would you, see, would you say then it will be a big void for Virat right now? He will not find Dhoni behind the stumps? Well, he must have prepared himself for that. I mean, it, as, as, uh, Virat himself has matured. Uh, it is not that he was banking on Dhoni all the time. I think any captain or any bowler would always uh, consult the wicketkeeper. And uh, Dhoni was the wicketkeeper, so he was in a position to guide them, his experience and his, his, his understanding of the game. But that doesn't mean that uh, uh, India will uh, miss him big time in the sense uh, Virat himself uh, is a good leader. Uh, yes, uh, Dhoni's inputs will matter, would have mattered always, but it wasn't that Dhoni was the only one on the field. He was, he had a role to play, which he played to perfection. And I'm very happy that he has chosen the right time to go because there was a lot of speculation and it was so sad that people kept on asking, when is he going, when is he going, which was sad for a, for a cricketer of his repute. He allowed all right. this uh, uh, speculation too long. Uh, Nikhil, I'll have to ask the last question to you. Well, MS Dhoni for almost uh, last seven, eight years has not appeared before the media. He has not done any interviews, even at the peak of the match fixing, spot fixing scandal that threatened, that engulfed his team. But when they came back, the franchise came back, he made the biggest statement through his and his players' performance by winning that edition of the IPL. Do you think that this is the moment, once again, MS Dhoni's performance and his, his team's performance is going to talk when he signs off? And they perhaps no, will win uh, this IPL too? Well, Rika, I mean, one thing that, uh, you know, any anyone's learnt over, you know, so many seasons of IPL is that never to write off an MS Dhoni led team or never to write off Chennai Super King. So I'm guessing you, you're not going to do the same even now. Yes, he's not been playing international cricket, but we know that he's, he's a master tactician. Uh, he knows how to guide team. I would describe him, and that's one of the reasons for his success. I would describe him as an old school cricketer in this new age cricket because he's one of those guys. You speak to anyone uh, from the Chennai Super Kings, and I've, I, I, I happen to get a chance to speak to some of their coaches. He still doesn't believe in all these analysis, these computer, you know, uh, data that you get. He still follows his instincts. He still follows the old school way of, you know, seeing and then taking decisions. So just just take a look at the uh, 
selection of the song that he's chosen to announce his retirement in the video when everyone in the dressing room is listening to you know punjabi numbers or hip hop he's still listening to kishore kumar and the mukesh so i'd call him uh, 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 an old school cricketer in new age cricket who still goes by you know the old school ways and it, and it works i mean just look at the record of chennai super kings uh, in the ipl and i'm sure even now many people made fun of the chennai team saying you know these are the fuddy duddies the oldies of the ipl and yet you know he took them to the finals even one the season before that so right. never count right. them out uh, they they're always going to be competitive and i think they were on this dance on me he's just spread himself from all the pressure and that will just allow him to express himself more freely on the cricket field interesting and that song with which he's announced his retirement also is his favorite song and he wanted everyone to listen to his favorite number as he signs off thank you very much professor shetty thank you very much mr vijay lokpalli and nikhil for joining us on the show to talk about one of the legends of indian cricket ms dhoni who has bowed out this evening in true msd style leaving india high on msd thank you very much for watching